Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my video entitled What Would Jesus Do? And you know, in these very troubling times, troubled and troubling times, we have to ask ourselves, what would Jesus do if he were alive today? And I've written and spoken a lot about this subject. I, th I think I'm fairly qualified to say that what Jesus would probably do if he were alive today, and by the way, there is a way to bring him to life today. I have a book about it. And, uh, but, so, so I should not, but, but so, it's very likely that Jesus will come back soon. And uh, later on in this webinar, I'm going to tell you how. So stay tuned, listen, watch the whole thing. You're going to be amazed. But Jesus uh, when he does come back, I believe that what he would do is try to feed the hungry all over the world. Because he said that in his uh, former lifetime, in his first lifetime, what he said was, if you feed the hungry, when you feed the hungry, or when you give water to the thirsty, it is the same thing as if you give food or water to me. That's what he said. And so it's our mission to feed the hungry. And you see them every day. It's easy to ignore them. That's the first instinct is to ignore people who have lost their homes and their jobs. And they're now living in their cars with their children or, or camping out somewhere by the side of the road. It's really a horrible, horrible thing to see happening in this country. And of course, it's worse all over the world. At least we have some charitable organizations around today that do help as much as they can. But these sites are getting more, more and more uh, common as we go through our day. So this is the, 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 uh, the view of opportunity knocking. This is your chance to help thousands of people end hunger and to help end hunger in America and later the world. We want to start in this country, and we have a start. We have a very good start in this country. So don't be like the proverbial sheep who are just jumping off the cliff like everyone else seems to be. Don't let scenes like this just pass you by without you doing anything. It's, it's not why we're here as humans. We're here to do the right thing. Little people here on this planet are depending on us. They didn't come here of their own free will. We brought them here. And it's our responsibility to, to keep them safe and happy and warm and well fed so that they can grow up to be responsible citizens and loving people just like you and I. So giving food to the hungry is what Jesus would do. I'm convinced of it. So you have an opportunity here to walk in his shoes. That's what we're offering you. You have a chance to walk in his shoes. So if you go to my website, you'll see what we're talking about. Go to founder.gofoodsglobal.com. We're saving families one meal at a time. We're walking in Jesus' shoes. And we're inviting you to do the same. And earlier in the video, I said that I have a way for Jesus to come back, and he's going to come back soon, so we'd better start doing what he says. And here's how. His bones have actually been found under the city of Jerusalem a couple of years ago. It's about five years ago now. And there was a documentary made about it by James Cameron, the famous director of Titanic and Avatar and all of that stuff. And uh, they actually found the bones of Jesus Christ. It's, it's documented. For some reason, it doesn't get a lot of media attention. But I wrote a book about it. On a, it's called Born Again, The Second Greatest Story Ever Told. If you go to Amazon, you can find it. And it's based on this discovery. They actually found the bone box. The Jews used to put the bones in a tiny box called an ossuary after their loved ones were entombed for about a year and there was nothing left of the, but the bones. Then they would come in and break up the bones and put them in a tiny box and then bury the box. And they found that box and they know because it had his name on it plus all of his relatives 
They're all placed in the same tomb. So, and that's that was the custom at the time as well. So it's 99.99999% sure that they found the bones of Jesus Christ. Now, why is that significant? Because in the bone marrow, there's enough genetic information there to clone this wonderful man. That means he would be impregnated into, inserted into the uterus of a volunteer. That woman would bear him for nine months or his DNA and then a baby would be born. That would be the exact duplicate of Jesus Christ. So when we ask what would Jesus do if he were alive today, it's not such a crazy question anymore because we're going to find out sooner or later someone is going to follow up on this experiment and he's going to walk the planet again. You need to start walking in his shoes before he gets here. Founder.gofoodsglobal.com. Start helping end hunger in America by becoming a food distributor with the greatest, healthiest, most delicious food that stores for up to 25 years without refrigeration. We save families by showing them how to store food for the emergencies and how to get others to store food. They make money and it saves their home and their finances. Don't wait anymore to find out what would Jesus do. We've got it all for you. And of course, we're not going to just leave you high and dry. We'll train you to do what we do to help end hunger in America as well. We started two years ago, and we've got thousands and thousands of families who are now saved. Save yourselves and save everyone you know. Join up today. Thank you and God bless.